hazardous thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Yeah. Hazardous thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Let out your hazardous thoughts from your hazardous mind. (laughs) Hello and welcome to another adventure of Hazardous Thoughts. Today we're going to play one that's been a long time in the making. Um, One that I started, um, well, I showed the trailer of um, within my opening. Um, This one's called Toonstruck. And it was developed by Burst Studios and uh, published by Virgin Interactive Entertainment back in 1996, uh, November in fact. Um, It's a graphical adventure game, single player. Um, It stars a few um, well-known actors, including Tim Curry, Dom DeLuise, which this is one of his actual last performances, um and also it had um christopher lloyd from uh back to the future who was in it and funnily enough he plays a character called drew blank that has a character called flux wildly and as we know back to the future he had a flux capacitor so maybe this was uh um sort of like written in the thought of having the back to the future sort of idea you know they sort of had the idea of his character from that one and brought it into this game maybe but i speculate anyway yes so um as always uh, tim curry is the bad guy nefarious nefarious or something like that uh in this um and we have um it's sort of like um a roger rabbit sort of world it's sort of like animated and also live action you've got uh, drew blank's character that gets sucked into a world of uh cartoons uh that he created uh fluffy fluffy bum bun um show um and he meets a whole load of wacky characters uh including a clown uh, <laughs> later on in the game um today i'm gonna play a couple of episodes uh i'm gonna do this like in stages um so it's not because it is quite a long one so uh i'm gonna do it in uh, like parts like I did with um, the Bendy and the Dark Revival. So, yeah, so hopefully you'll all enjoy the nostalgia and the uh, fun, you know, the fun adventure that we're going to have with this game. So, yeah, okay, without any further ado, let's get on, shall we? Virgin Interactive Entertainment. Hmm, Scott. Right. Most of you will probably remember this bit from the uh, trailer that I uh, put a while back. So, yeah. This is basically going over that bit again. Christopher Lloyd. Hello. 
Drew Blank? Yes. This is Dr. Stern's office. I'm calling to remind you about your dental appointment tomorrow uh, morning. Okay, I can... Mr. Blank. Yes. You've missed your last three appointments, Mr. Blank. Uh, yes, I know. I, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I must have forgotten. It's only a filling, Mr. Blank. Mm. So you'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp? I promise. I'll be so there. It'll make up for all my missed appointments. I don't care what you do, Mr. Blank, as long as you don't forget again. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I, I remember. I remember. All right, Drew. I'm sorry. But if you remember, then why aren't you... Oh, oops. Oh, I'm sorry, Maxine. I, I, I thought you were... Oh, uh, why aren't I what? Your meeting with Schmaltz, it started 10 minutes ago. Mm. So dead. This and you didn't have all the clocks at in home. My day, being late for a like he had him back to the future. Yeah. For immediate <laughs> dismissal. Oh yeah, the miss fella yes, from what was it? Paris Bueller's yeah, Day Off. I'm sure you're aware that this mask. season marks the tenth anniversary of the fluffy, fluffy bun bun show. He's got and such frankly, a dreary voice. Bun Bun needs a boost. It needs revitalizing. It needs a shot in the arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. A shot in the arm, yes, sir. Yeah. Sure does. And since Bun Bun's your creation, I want you to. I don't. Personally I personally, I don't understand why they've shot. animated the office around Thank them at you, this point. Here's how I as see we're it. not in we the animated a world. Happy, cute but, to yeah. share the spotlight with Bun Bun. It's just an idea they it's had, I suppose. Fluffy and friends. After all, if one bun can carry a company like Sam Schmaltzing for mm. 10 years, a whole truckload of things has got to be a gold mine. 24 carat. <laughs> mm. Get it? Yes, terrific idea. But it's exactly what the show needs uh, more mm. bunnies. Of course, it's I a love the idea. expressions That's why I get that paid Chris the big does. Bucks. He just embodies the character. He's well, so what good at what he does. Oh, and one more thing. Mm. Oh, yes, sir. I want the new characters on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. And this time, don't be late. Tomorrow mm -hmm. morning. First thing, yes. Okay. Mm. Rabbits. Mm -hmm. More sweet, friendly rabbits. Yep. Rabbits that do they nice things. Rabbits yeah, they care. share. Share. <laughs> Right. And... Nope. And what is he? He's drawn a blank. <laughs> Drew blank. Get it? <laughs> you really weren't on uh, very young, there's very the flux wildly. Blank. Yeah. The kid who's going to take the world. Storm. Yeah, Fox. Flux. You're here, little the buddy. Flux capacitor. Ooh. The Flux Wiley show is really going to be something. Quite an Easter egg, you know. If only. They like uh, doing that in some of these games. Must Put in um, hints from other genres. Must and what focus have you. on bunnies. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But he went to sleep for a long time. <laughs> and this bit reminds me of the bit when Marty's back in the past and it has the howdy do time. Four in the morning anyway. How we knew it was four o'clock, we clocked in. Time. Here we go. Right, so now as you can see, this is the live action interacting with the animated backgrounds and foregrounds. So yeah, very, very um, Roger Rabbit S. And funnily enough, he was in Roger Rabbit as well. So yeah. Not the first time that he um, did a live action and animated movie. 
well, so it may sound. And there's Flux, the voice of Homer Simpson. What are you doing here? Yeah. Look, Flux, I, I can't be here. I mean, I can't stay here. It's just not right. I, I don't fit in. Besides, I've got one mother on a deadline uh -huh. over my head. And apparently, a lifetime of therapy to look forward to. Something gone wrong in his implant. So just slap me. Oh, tell me there's no place like home. I'll do ah, whatever it Wizard takes of to get me out reference. of here. Well, I guess. If it means that much to you. So, you mean you do not have any home? Get me back oh, to no. the future? <laughs> I have problems finding my own way home. But I do know a guy who might be able to help. Yeah. So you see, King, King you, you, you this is Drew. Drew needs to get back home. Can you help him? Can you? Huh? Oh dear, dear. And this dear, fella so is actually the played by the well. guy who did Cotsworth. Of you find your way the um Told you. clock Thank from you. Uh, Beauty Majesty. and the Beast. But there's just one teensy. You probably could problem. hear that, but uh, you know, explain. just a cheeky little you reference. Here, Cutopia. Hey, that's where I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany dude. Zany dude. It's kind of like an offshore asylum, Zany but to me, dude. it's always been home. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to you, your benevolence. Mm -hmm. Yes. As I was saying, we are here in Qtopia, home of the happy, helpful Qtopians. Oh. And, of course, they're good and just king. It's mm. me. We were all so very very happy mm. until we fell under attack by a very wicked so we change into Count, Count Nefarious. Nefarious. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Nefarious. Look at him. Oh, oh what? Nefarious is ruler of the Malevolence. And that it's dismal Malevolence. He has perfected the Malevolator. Hey, that's the thing that took a shot at me! Like the uh, guy in Phineas and Ferb that's got an A-tor at the end. It's an A-tor! <laughs> everything it touches, turning all that is sweet and oh. pleasant into all that is... Into werebears! Oh. So, oh. I'm afraid, Mr. Drew, we really mm, gone into Bugs Bunny. Us the live-action animated help. thing. But Another one. Could I possibly help? My brave spies have stolen the blueprints from the various bad, bad machine. My royal engineer is using these plans to build a cutifier, mm -hmm. a device which will reverse the damage nefarious yeah, has done. Turn them back into chair bears. Please. I need you to help us finish the cutifier so that we can end Nefarious's reign of terror and to make the world a happy place. And then I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you get home. Uh -huh. Don't worry, your benevolence. We'll save you. Won't we? Mr. Yeah, Drew? Yeah. Sure, your highness. Like you're giving him a choice. Happy to help. I'm so totally splendid. Uh -huh. Thank you, friend. Uh -huh. You can't possibly understand what this means to uh -huh. me. And my kingdom. Before you leave the castle, please stop by my laboratory so my engineer can show you the cutifier. Mm -hmm. And remember, all of Qtopia is counting on you. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Over into the lab. I was working in the lab late one night. <laughs> The dodo. I'm looking for the royal engineer. Really? I'm looking for my uh -huh. glasses. Oh. Well, if you see the engineer, would you tell him we're uh -huh. looking for him? I will. But he's rather preoccupied right now. He's lost his this glasses. This voice actor sounds now, familiar. I've be? heard him in many Don Bluth movies. And uh, I think he was in Alice in Wonderland as well. The animated um, one. From Disney, I think. He sounds like him. 
I'll have to double check. Oh, there we go. Big foot. Something's afoot. Excuse me, could we have a word with you? Certainly. Which word would you like? May I recommend? Mm, Goodbye. You're a sassy fella, aren't you? Okay, he sure has a lot mm. of trophies. Well done, sir. A keen observation. Mm. However, if I may be blunt, I find dusting a trifle difficult whilst engaged in such witty and insightful conversation. Mm. So if it's all the same to you, I suggest you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, mm. wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, mm. sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. Mm. What? So you telling me a butler would be a great big <laughs> Yeah, big butt. We were just talking to a bird downstairs. Mm -hmm. You seemed a little flustered. Ah, you've had the misfortune of meeting Brickabrack, Brick our royal yes, engineer. Brickabrack seems to be having a bit of a problem. Allow me to go out on a limb, sir. Brickabrack has lost his glasses. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Mm. I don't suppose he has checked his pocket. Oh, mm. I didn't ask. Hmm. Well, while I find the troubles of our engineer most fascinating, sir, in future I would prefer to focus my energies on more important matters, such as the condition of my master's trophies. Mm. Time for us to mm. shove off. Then please, by all means, shove off, sir. Mm. Shove off, sir. <laughs> Back to the laboratory. Yo! You do that every time we come down the stairs, aren't you, Flux? Right. Okay. Let's chitty chat. Break it back. By any chance, are your glasses in your pocket? I had no idea. I wish I had them right mm -hmm. now. I think what Drew means is, look in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. My Ooh. glasses. I wonder who put I them wonder. there. Say, do I know you? I'm Drew, and he's Flux. We're friends of King mm -hmm. Hugh. We've come to help you with a cutifier. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Team Happy. Team Happy. <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. Consisting of one person, so not really a team. Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's Malevolator. Mm -hmm. Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's yes. deck? The whistles, the dagger and whatnot. Well, they power Nefarious's That's where I recognize his voice be. from. We he sounds like the uh, Mad Hatter. Machine. From but the so far, Disney Alice in Wonderland. One. Well, I guess a scavenger hunt for the missing parts shouldn't take too long. I wonder if it is. Have I'll have to At check. We know what we need to get. I'll do that Not and that I'll easy. probably put a note somewhere. Whether I'm right or wrong. See? What we need are 12 different of course things. we do. Things of a different nature. Uh -huh. Things that will produce. The reverse effect! Oh. Right. Right. Yeah. You said you had one thing that worked? Why, yes I do. Let's take another look, see, at the blueprint. Mm. The one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there, where the spice is in the Farius's mm. machine. Sugar and spice and everything Why? nice. I haven't a clue. Well, break a rat, we better go. Uh -huh. The sooner we get those missing parts, the better for all of us. Wait, you'll be needing the Malevolator blueprint for reference. Do oh, now where has it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. I want and to give you something to say help. A bottomless bag to carry all the parts in. Oh, bottomless bag. Right. Thank you, bric a -brac. Splendid. And please, feel free to come back here anytime. Mm -hmm. We can install different things into the cutifier to see if they work. Or we can just talk. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, new friends. And good luck. Thank you. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. We'll go outside now. Mm. 
these armadillos. Hi guys, I'm Drew Blank, and this is my friend, Flux mm -hmm. Wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Mm -hmm. We're secretly uh -huh, building secret. a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Oh, jeez. These are the palace guards. You think they don't know what's going mm -hmm. on? Building a machine? Yeah. Qtopia? Yeah, that's where you live. Not too bright, these characters. So, what exactly do you guys do around uh -huh. here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. That's a bit of a... Two, three, mm, four. Name. Bippity, bip, bip, bippity, bop. Oop, bip, got bip, his key. Bippity, bop. Ya da da da, diddly da. Ya da diddly diddly da. Giddly diddly dippity da. Oh, squeaking his squeak, oh. squeak, squeaking. That's our little hello dance. It even has a mm. message. That's right. It means hello. Here's hoping it made your trip to the palace today just a tiny he bit lighter. He sounds wider. familiar as well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I think I've heard him in Disney. You don't Disney's. have to thank us. Your smile is payment uh -huh. enough. I think it's actually a she, but I'm not too sure on that one. Alright, okay. Boy, it sure has been a tough day. Even though, day. has it? Yeah, we haven't been here yes. that long. Oh, we we sure could use some cheering up. Mayday, oh. Mayday! Our friends have the frownies. The frownies. Quick. The dance. Oh no, wait, it hasn't been that tough. Two, three, four. Bippity bip bip bippity ba. Bip boop bip boop bippity ba. Ya da da da. Diddly da. Ya da diddly diddly da. Skiddle. Oh, looks like the little fellas dropped something. Too uh -huh. bad. Bye bye. Thank you for the key. Now I can go into King Hugh's room. The door is locked. Do you think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? <laughs> no. I've always viewed a locked door as an invitation. Oh, I bet you have, you little tight. Get the key. Well, there's one problem uh -huh. solved. And 1,110 to go. I got 99 problems without you. 99 problems without you. Ooh, interactable. I'll take that. Uh, some sort of stamp. And drawers, again. I like having the draw puzzles. Open? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aha! That opens something. Hey! We open a secret Yay. passage! I guess reorganizing your sock drawers can pay off after mm. all. Go into the creepy hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your step. Anything I can interact with here? Oh, floorboard. Ah. I have an idea. Come here, Flux. You go there. Hey, Flux, go stand on that loose floorboard for a sec, okay? Sure, buddy. Uh -huh. Whatever you say. Yeah. You can trust me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Flux! Well done! Wow, that was hard! The leap? The uh -huh. floor! The floor. Alright, there we go. Alright, and we pull the string. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Huh? Huh? Okay. No, it's not going. It, no, no, no. Ooh. There he goes. Where did those barrels come from? They weren't on there when you left. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Ouch. Uh huh. 
Oh dear. How inconvenient. Oh. Ouch. Uh huh. <laughs> get back in the trophy room and we can have a pinchy of some of the trophies which we're going to need later on Trophies, you miserable thieves! Maybe. This trophy won't do me much good if I can never leave the mm, room again. True. Take the fish instead. And somehow it shrinks. Looks like this is the one that got goes away. goes right in my pocket. Which is also a bottomless bag, apparently. Back outside we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we go into town. Hey, another Irish pub. Oh, I wonder if they've got any um Murphy's. In Utopia, even an Irish pub is about as rowdy as a drinking room. I don't know, Flux. I think that mouse over there would disagree mm. with you. Look at him. Mm. Away with you! Who's that supposed to be SpongeBob? You rotter. Mm. Looks like the place is a little livelier than you thought, buddy. Cool. Mm. Hi there. Hello and welcome. <laughs> so glad you could make it to me lovely establishment. Uh -huh. My, you're looking up and good today. Magic weather or something. Okay, uh, is that yes. sense a, a little bit answer. A fine answer. Aye, nothing short of pure dead brilliant, by the way. Um, um, we've, we've gone thanks. Scottish and but Irish. But I couldn't be better myself. Thanks for asking. Oh, uh, sure. I couldn't help but notice that your accent is, uh, well... First it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then Irish, then Scottish, I Irish, think he gets Scottish. the point. I think he uh -huh. gets the point. Ah, yes, thank you for noticing. A lot of folks can't tell the difference. <laughs> it's my ancestry, you see. I'm half Irish. And half Scottish. And all cheese. Mm. Aye, that's right. I suppose you could say I'm a bit of a hunk. A hunk of uh -huh. cheese. Woohoo! But not a very sharp one, apparently. That's an interesting organ you have there. Oh, my kilt's right now, isn't it? No, no, no. I, I mean, a piano. Type Not organ. that organ. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> She's a Hamlin pipe organ. Top of the line, she is. Until recently, she used to get a lot of use. Why, the Baker boys performed in here almost every day. Until the offing business with the brothers' disappearance. Oh. Well, you certainly seem to have the luck of the Irish. It's quite a popular little pub we run here. Oh, I'm sure it has everything to do with the tavern's tasteful mm. decor. Yes, the shamrock motif is very original. Oh, that's very kind of you to say mm. so, sirs. Very kind. Although... I do have one itsy little problem. Mm. Oh, what's eating you, laddie? Well, that's just it, you see. There's a moose loose about this house. Huh? Uh, right here. In the tavern, there's a moose. You're being harassed by a very large antler mm. deer. Dinner be silly. You know what I mean. There's a wee like a cow in Timmer's beastie. Mm. There's a mouse for crying out loud. Oh, a mouse. A mouse. mouse. Aye, a moose. A moose about this house. So how long has mm -hmm. this mouse been around anyway? You know, that's funny. He showed up the very same day I got back from my vacation. Your vacation? Mm. I went to Zany do. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my hometown, you know. And a lovely place it is. But, unless it's only my opinion, mind you, 
That's no place to relax, is it? Well, every time I'd so much as set foot outside, wham! Uh. Someone will come up behind me and pull my kilt down or drop an angle on my scorn. <laughs> or George oh, Michael comes terrible. out of somewhere. He's Tell meeting me Wham. What possible problem could a little mouse pose to such a big hunk of cheese like yourself? Oh, oh, oh I begin to understand. Mm. No, I'm not sure that you do. I mean, a lot of fella does take away never let me noggin from time mm. to time. But that's all right with me. I wouldn't want the poor wee thing to starve after all. So then, if you don't mind him chewing chunks out of you, what's the problem? Well, you see, in addition to having a healthy appetite, he's chewing this his mouse nub. is a bit, um, high-spirited. I mean, he's an absolute bomb pot if you catch me drift. We don't, but we do if you catch my drift. And though I'm sure he doesn't mm. mean us any harm, his shenanigans are driving me customers absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah, you can oh. see that. I've tried everything, but I just cannot seem to make him go away. So, what's a little irritation? You sure you're not making a mountain out of a mouse hole? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not me which end, I tell you. I'm even offering a reward to the person that catches the wee tight. He's giving away Ooh. a reward? This guy's got to be desperate. I mean, he is half Scottish after all. Ooh, ow. I see you've set a trap for your little visitor. Oh, dear. That horrible thing. I really hoped I wouldn't have to use it, mind you. It's just that, well, I've asked our tiny friend nicely to leave ever so many times, and it hasn't worked at all. I thought he'd see that ugly trap and simply get scared away. Yeah, mm. right. It looks like he's quaking with fear already. I suppose what I really need is someone with pest control experience to come and catch the daft wee bugger for me. Um, by the way, did I mention that there's a lovely reward for the friend mm. that does? Right, okay then. I think that's our cue. Hey, wait a minute. Do we leave that haggis yeah. in the oven? Uh, uh, oh yeah. We best skedaddle. Well, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you. Come back anytime yeah. you fancy. Bye. Well, I'll have a play of his organ. Maybe I'll give the barman's organ a try. I'm sure he'll enjoy mm -hmm. that. Here we go. Dippity tappity, dippity tappity, dippity tappity mouse. Flux, go give that mouse trap a whack. Mm. Would you check? Uh, boom. Woo! Hey, that's your Wesley Woden. Wesley Woden. the trap i never meant for our wee pal to get but mm. oh don't worry as soon as we bend his skull back into shape i'm sure he'll be just yeah. fine he'll uh, be fine I suppose you're right. perhaps that is for the best thank you mm. friends for making me tavern a peaceful happy place again oh and without further ado here's your reward mm. gentlemen oh yeah. an oh, old mug that's our reward i know i know it's maybe too much isn't it but please Take it, I insist. Mm -hmm. The both of you have earned it, so you have. Mm -hmm. Fox, what are we going to do with this piece of junk? I got a few ideas. <laughs> yeah. Shoving it where the sun don't shine. And take the mouse out of your hoose. have a bit of Indiana Jones <laughs> as long as it's got something of equal weight we can get out and close the door and then magically opens the door <laughs> right Okay, outside we go. Oh, he didn't slide down the banister this time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, a 
It's an arcade. And here he is. Good day, Tom kind sir. My name's Black, and this is Flux Wild. Pleased to meet you. One of his final performances so, before uh, he dies. Is this an arcade? No, it's a flower shop. Only we're fresh out of flowers. Of course it's an arcade, you mm. meathead. <laughs> Drew, did you hear that? You just got dumped on by a Qtopian. Drew Blank snuffed by a sub. <laughs> Boy, I can't think of anything more humiliating. <laughs> Wait until everybody hears mm. about this. You'll never live it down. <laughs> huh. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Flux Wild. Yeah, yeah with friends like him, who needs enemies? Alright, break the ice. You know, I thought Utopians were supposed to be happy and helpful, caring and sharing. Yeah. You seem surprisingly obnoxious. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you found me out. I'm not from around here. Yeah, hey, I remember you. You used to have a place like this in Zany, dude. How come you left the homeland? Eh, business sucked. It's not easy to con a Zany. Everyone's a wise guy. Yeah. So I came over here to swindle, uh, entertain <laughs> these smiley little Qtopian saps. It ain't glamorous, but it's a living. Rip it off, Qtopians. Why, that's just downright inspired. You need mm. a pot? He's speaking theoretically. Yeah, right. I am? Well, theoretically speaking. No! <laughs> that game in the middle isn't very popular. Whackman? Hey, that's because it's from Zany Doom. My furry little patrons prefer goody goody Qtopian games like Sweet, Sweet Fighter. Fire. Sweet Fighter? <laughs> you hurl compliments. Vegas. That's your most popular game. Yeah, that and Mortal Wombat. I love it. Now whack me. Here's a game. And with all the time I got on my tentacles, let's just say I've got pretty damn good at it. In fact, I've got sort of a standing challenge. If anyone can beat me at whack me, I'll give them one of the arcade's top prizes. This fabulous practically gold chain. Practically gold. Hey, that's almost valuable. Mm. Well, I have no idea how to play Whackman, but I'm not one to shy away from a yeah. challenge. And a lot of humiliation. So, are you up for a game? Sure, chump. Mm. You beat me, I'll give you the gold chain. Here we go. Mm. I love the fact they got the tune as well. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh ah. dang it. I can't push the button. Come on, come on, push. Come on, get him. Get him. Come on. Ah, dang it. No. Ah. Squished. Yeah. Do over. We're back. Oh, goody. I, I call do over. You up for a game of whack man? Sure, chump. You beat me. I'll give you the gold. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Here we go. Try again. And this time, you're not gonna get me. Right. Uh huh. Right down. Dang it. Uh, 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 uh. No, come on. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, he's getting me. Oh, he's going to get me. No, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop, 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 stop. That's it. Oh, come on. That's it, that's it. I got him. Yes! Got him! Ha <laughs> I win! Sorry, buddy. Looks like I'm the new champ. Champ? Mother's ass. I saw you cheat. But I'll Cheating. give you the chain anyway. Because I'm such an honest yeah, guy. Yeah, right. Honest. My. Nut. <laughs> Uh, 
We're going to the bakery. Have a little cupcake, maybe? <laughs> no, sad frogs. Excuse me, dude. Why, look, brother. I think we've got some new faces here in the bakery. Ooh. I'll say. Um, welcome, fellas. <laughs> I recognize I'm that voice as well. That's Pinky. Pleased to meet you, from, fellas. Uh, Pinky and the, the Brain. Boys. Mm. So, I'm walking down a street. And an old man comes up to me and asks directions to the fish market. The fish market, I say. Don't ask me. I thought you brought the strudel. <laughs> Wait a minute. That didn't that make any no sense. sense. It didn't? No. He's right. All right. It's just not the same now that it's just me and me. Just and you. you and you? No. Me. That's me. That's me. You, well, it's me, it's him. Me, I'm me. <laughs> we also have a middle brother named Ray. Or at least we did. Our poor departed brother Ray was the one who sang the middle note, told the middle of the jokes, and ran the middle bakery. Departed? Did Ray? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No. He departed. One day he went out <laughs> and he never came back. And ever since, it's been a tough go for me and me. Where do you think Ray went? We think he went Shanghai. Shanghai? Did you say Shanghai? Ray was Shanghai? Whoa! I mean, whoa! Okay, someone tell me what Shanghai means. Someone kidnapped him? Ah, oh, bingo, yeah. Well, we think it may have been nefarious, it's, 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 it's horrible henchmen. Why would they do that? We think maybe it was a case of mistaken identity. So you're saying you think they meant to kidnap some other baking singing frog? Yeah. <laughs> One of them two. So, you guys are bakers? That's right. Me here runs the Day Old Bakery. And I run the Day Young Bakery. Day Young Bakery? Selling bread that isn't finished mm. yet. You know, lumps of dough. Of course. How silly of you, mm. Drew. <sighs> And Ray, he, he used to run the regular bakery. Oh, I was perfect, yeah. After I made my dough, Ray would cook it into nice rolls and sell those in his shop. The day after, Ray would pass the leftover rolls on to me, and I'd sell them at my place. But now that our dear brother is gone... <laughs> those dough is left uncooked. And me shelves are bare. I think that's the saddest story I've ever oh. heard. Oh, brother. Well, despite all your troubles, at least you mm. had your dough, right? Wrong. Right after Ray disappeared, things went from bad to extra bad. Mm. You see, Qtopia ran out of butter, and without oh, butter, there's no dough butter. can't make dough. What if you just leave out the butter? Leave out the butter. Butter? No butter? Oh, no dough. Take it from me. me. You mean him, right? Well, sure. Who else? So nutty. Well, I guess we better be going. Yeah. Take care. Don't talk to strangers. Always take a sweater. Don't forget to write. Mm -hmm. uh, Uh, I'm not sure. I guess it's just seemed like didn't know it was empty at the time. Got caught with his pantry down? I don't know. Alright, uh, uh, here we go. Fluffy, fluffy bun it's bun. It's fluffy, fluffy bun bun in a big hurry. Maybe she's late for a very uh -huh. important date. Another Alice in Wonderland reference. Fluffy, fluffy, bon bon, I presume. That's me! <laughs> There's a lot of references in this game. How are you today, Fluffy? I'm fuzzy and fluffy and cute and cuddly, and I just couldn't and be And that happier. sounds like Gadget Oopsie. from Rescue Rangers. Them. You see, ever since that bad, bad Mr. Nefarious started messing up Utopia with his 
this nasty machine, I've been just an eensy bit cranky. That nasty man is ruining everything! Mm -hmm. Just look at my meadow! Nasty, nasty, nasty! Yeah, nasty. It's just not fair! Oh, golly! Listen to me! I'm being a great big grouchy bag! Yeah, I think bag. she's a little I bit cuckoo. Much. No, thank you. I love to make special new friends. Mm. Oh boy, is it a beautiful day? Yeah, beautiful. I guess Nefarious's attacks have you pretty shaken up. Golly, yes, but it gets much, much oh, worse. My. You see, some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. I mean. Right. Obviously, he doesn't like cotton candy. Or so fluffy. candy floss. What's so bad about cotton candy, anyway? Well, Depending gee, where you're from. Nothing at all, I guess. Except that I hate cotton candy! Mm. Oh! My poor little tummy! Mm. So, Fluffy, what exactly do you do around here, anyway? Do? Why, my job is being the cutest little bunny in the whole wide mm. world. My big bunny ears are cute. My little bunny bottom yeah. is cute. Why, even my teeny little poops are okay. cute. Okay, TMI. Hooray! Hooray for me! And I'm sure those teeny little poops smell better than flowers, right? Do they ever want to sniff my sweet fluffy uh, bottom? Hey, no. guess what? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll pass. Do you know King Hugh? Oh, yes. I just love Hugh. He's so good and wise and happy and good looking. Good looking? Mm. Of course. Every bunny is good looking in their own special way, even yeah. you. <laughs> That's uh. nice. Nice is my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Considering what Nefarious has done to this meadow, I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit us. You oh. know, I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. A oh, lucky charm. A charm? Just a little rabbit's foot I carry around with me. <laughs> Flux. Don't worry. I know he was just trying to say something yeah, nice. Right. Like how bunnies are lucky and lovable and good to have around. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said anything at all. Uh -huh. Well, Fluffy, I'm afraid we have to go. Oh. <laughs> it's always sad to see friends leave. Yeah. Bun yeah. hug. What a no. Cute. Sure, I guess. But you can't, cause you're in a fluffy, fluffy bun bun. Uh, you're annoying, <laughs> annoying, annoying. Which I am eternally <laughs> grateful. Yeah. Bye, Pookie Rabbit. Ooh, a scarecrow. Hello? Andrew, what do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know... You thought this red-clad bundle of straw was alive, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I haven't seen <laughs> weirder stuff. Oh, 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 Drew, even mm. in my world, He's the moving. scarecrow is just a... Hello? Yeah. Scarecrow. You were uh -huh. saying... Hey, did one of you minxes call me a rag-clad bundle oh. of straw? Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Okay. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had to simply they divine one the other day. I was floating die. high above wow. the world. The wind gently Fabulous. cradling and caressing me as I gracefully swooped and pirouetted <laughs> in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die mm. for. <sighs> it can be really quite devastating. Waking up from a dream like that, can it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm. Mm. 
So, Mr. Scarecrow, what are you doing here? Just uh, hanging around? Hardly. If you must know, I'm watching over my babies. Your babies? The crows, darling. The crows. Uh, you might want to take another look at your mm. job description. As far as I know, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows. For your information, I am not a scarecrow. I am a carecrow. Okay. Who do you think cares for all the little oh, birds? Dear. Florence Nightingale? Mm. Yeah, sounds about right. And take it from me, bullying birds is one thing, but it takes a much stronger sort to look after them. Mm. Why the wear and tear from throwing seed alone? Just look at these hands. Are these the hands mm. of the idol? I don't think so, <laughs> sailor. <sighs> Well, I suppose it's the price I pay for not wearing rubber gloves. But have you seen the gaudy colors those things come in? Yuck. No, thank you. I'd rather my hands fell off at the sleeve than be caught wearing those fashion faux pas. I know, I'm terrible, aren't I? Yeah, you are terrible. <laughs> well, I have to say, you are the smartest dressing scarecrow. I mean, carecrow. I've ever met. Oh, you are a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I dig the cloak. It's Trey. Uh, good. Tragic. This old thing? Hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? I'd give anything for a nice new outfit. Actually, I'd give this cloak. I'm afraid it's all I've got. I don't suppose you boys could find it in your hearts? Oh, but no. What am I saying? I've crossed the line. I'm asking much too much. I suppose we could help you out. Really? Would you? Am I hearing what I think yeah. I'm hearing? We're going clothes shopping for a scarecrow. Tell you what, you give us a cloak and we'll get you a nice sport coat or something. A sport coat? How positively dismal. No, this has to be the right outfit. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, mm -hmm. nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big mm. top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Got that? Uh, sure. I know exactly the outfit you need. Yeah, so do I. A straight jacket. <laughs> it must be kind of lonely for a sociable guy like yourself. Hanging around in this empty cornfield. Yeah, I mean, face it. You could probably talk the ears off a corn <laughs> Well, you fellas certainly have my number. I do like a good chin wag. Chatting with you is so much fun. Yeah. I'm having a ball. Oh. I feel I could tell you to anything, everything, and you'd understand. Oh, oh, good. Don't get me wrong. I love my babies. Bless their little feathered hearts. But I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street, mm. if you know what I mean. To their credit, they are good listeners, and that's very important, as She's we all know. Some mocking birds I mean, instead don't you just want to scream yeah. when you get stuck with someone who goes on and on and on, and doesn't let you get a word yeah, in edgeways? Like you. Yes! So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit? I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side West Story. Side Thanks. Story. But we'll just stick with the cloak. So, how does a nice parka sound? A parka? What are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Slay me with mm. dreariness? Oh, the hideous monotony! I can't breathe. Oh okay. No parka. No now, what should we bring you? I told you. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, sappy. nothing too sappy, and not oh, too many whistles. bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Well, at least he isn't uh -huh. <laughs> Right. Okay. Mm. Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep uh -huh. me posted. As if I wasn't uh -huh. already. Posted. Yeah. Going to the barn. Wow. Hello. Hello, ladies. Psst, Drew. Mm. Let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. <clears throat> oh! Mama Vito! Oh. Hubba hubba, ring!
Are you speaking to us? <laughs> Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. Not at all. Butter? No, we. You see, the churnitron is broken. Oh. Hey, no big deal. I know how upset you must be. Without butter, life is barely worth living. All of Qtopia mourns my pure, sweet, creamery butter. Unhappy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. Right. Say, aren't you ladies supposed to be on all fours? <gasps> Of all the oh, nerve! Lord. Oh my goodness! No, 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 that's, that's mm. not what I meant, really. Really, it's not. Not into bestiality, in no. Uh, forget it. Uh, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in our mm. stable. By the way, my name is Drew, and this He's a stable is friend. This is me. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Marge, and this is Polly. And this machine is my lifelong friend and partner, the Chernatron. Mm. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. The horse seems a little quiet. Mm. Elmer, yes, Elmer's special. Special? Mm. You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain. If you grasp yeah. my meaning. <sighs> no grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard <gasps> or something. Sorry, ladies. Flux is special. Yes. He suffers from foot and mouth disease, if you grasp my meaning. Uh -huh. Huh? So, uh, what exactly happened to the Chernotron anyway? I'm afraid it may have broken down from simple overuse. I do so enjoy making butter. One minute it was working fine, churning away. Then all of a sudden, a metal thingamabob flew off. We looked everywhere, but we couldn't find it. If only we had a way of getting that part without it. My life is meaningless. Oh. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is overrated. Hell, just ask Flux here. His life is completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. <laughs> you know, that just sweet Bippy, as a revered Zanian philosopher once said, those who seek meaning in their lives are... What the? Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. But for all us Sanians, there is profound meaning to be found in his senseless, untimely death. I know what you're trying to do, and I thank you. You're good people. But I'm afraid for a domesticated bovine. Life is empty when you have a sack full of souring oh, milk. Dear. Amen. Oh. Did you say the Trinitron was broken? Yes. I'm afraid the poor thing is on the fritz and has been for quite some time. Oh, it seems like an eternity since my last milking. I don't mind telling you that my rosy red swollen udders are in desperate need of a good suck suck sucking from old Johnny mm. here. Actually, I might yeah. tell me that. You see, we were we a team. Need to know that. Together, we made the sweetest, purest butter in all of Qtopia. Without my partner in cream, all I have left are my memories. <laughs> Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about Mr. Suck Suck here, but there's more to life than butter. Right, Drew? All right. I mean, you've got this quaint little barn to live in and all the hay you could ever want and... and uh... Flux, did we mention this yes. lovely one? Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the beef business. A short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try to cheer us up, but butter is my mm. life. Until the Chernatron is fixed, things just won't be the same. Oh. So long, ladies. We have to move along. Move along? Uh, Get it? That's a uh, bad joke. joke. Are they making fun of us? Of course not, Polly. These are our mm. friends. Comments like that make me feel like I'm about three you feet three high. Feet you high. are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a uh. conscience. Right. Use this to get some super veggie grow. Oh, mm -hmm. yuck. 
the bed. Right, I think I'm gonna end it there. I don't want this going on for too long. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this adventure. Look, and uh, hopefully down. you'll be with me on the next one. Um, again, if you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, hit the like button and hit the notification bell for notifications of my future videos. Um, help my channel to grow, please. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to comment uh, on anything, um, give me some advice on what I can do better. For my channel and for you um i would really appreciate the help and also as always keep your eyes on the stars and keep brewing those hazardous thoughts until next time ciao